Hey Virgo, welcome to your forecast and thank you for your patience. It has been a crazy week and I've mommed so hard and I feel really good now. I just got done with the uh, shamanic circle. If you join the um, Awakening Transcendence group over on Facebook, which I'm leaving open through the end of this week. Um, I talked, I did a video in there talking about what we went through today, but you will have the access to come to those sacred circles. Okay, so I would recommend joining. For those of you that are new, welcome. I am an intuitive. A lot of my readings come from my shamanic practice, okay, from uh, I'm working with spirit guides and ancestors and pulling from uh, my training. And so it's not always going to be traditional tarot here, okay. For those of you returning, thank you. <laughs> Again, I have so much gratitude and heart space for you guys. You just don't even know, all right. So... For the collective here today, all right, whatever you are working on passionately right now, you're going to get a lot of abundance, but spirit is saying, okay, really follow your gut, all right, Virgo, really follow the inklings that you are getting because they are leading you down the right path so that you're not going like this way and then this way and then this way and then back this way. Like spirit is really giving you a straightforward path. Okay. And for some of you, it's going to break you out of the shackles of what you've been dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. You're going to find your inner strength through whatever this process is. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at what's going on here. So today we're going to start by looking at the healing that's coming to you through this balsamic moon phase. I also talked about that in the Awakening Transcendence and gave some rituals there. Um, we're going to look at what you're manifesting here with the, um, the new moon. And we are going to Take a look at what's coming beyond that. Okay. I feel like some of you don't really know what you want to manifest with that new moon. Okay. Some of you are just kind of like at a loss. So let's take a look here. And then after this, when we get some clarification, then we're going to look at you and your person, okay? Your person can be energy that you're still carrying around with you, new person, okay? Person you're dealing with. Just take it as it resonates. All of this can be role reversal. Take what feels right for you, all right? So you're really healing your ability to express your emotions. And what's really funny is it came out here, okay? I feel like why you're learning this is this is this healing has to take place for what's coming to you in the future. And it's funny because with the upper world card here and the water card, the water card was actually hiding. I didn't even see it there until I went to move it and I thought, oh, well, that looks kind of funny because it was kind of like this. <laughs> and I was like, what is that? Oh, it's another card hidden there. So you hide your emotions. And it's interesting because the, it, the energy they're showing me on this, I don't know if you watched, I think the movie was The Da Vinci Code, I think. But there was the monk in it, and I can remember him, or priest or whatever he was, I can remember him like smacking himself, like hurting himself, right? Like, this is creating self-internalized pain, okay? But healing this is necessary to move forward on this wheel. And I do feel like, you know, you are slowly getting there, right? It's really funny because it's almost as if 
it's almost as if you are, by looking at this, you're getting ready to end a cycle, a very karmic cycle, okay? But this is something that probably has come up again and again and again in your life where you have a real struggle with speaking your emotions and not feeling like you're being judged. Okay. And it also came out with the altar. Okay. Which is about honoring your self, your guides, your soul. Okay. This healing is all about learning to honor who you are, where you came from, what you have been through. Okay. Now, what you're trying to manifest here with the new moon is just wisdom. Okay. You just want a deeper connection with those around you, with your guides, like you're seeking the understanding and that's why I feel like you don't really know what you are actually manifesting forward. But what you're going to get from this cycle is on the other side of this, you will find those that are going to counsel you into your soul purpose. Okay. Conch shell and lodge calling and counsel, right? That's really what you're calling in. You're calling in guidance. You're calling in support. You're calling in counsel. All right. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of a deeper look. Tell me about emotions. Okay. King of Cups, Six of Cups. Some of you have been through some bad situations in the past. I actually got for someone that's watching you may have actually lost your father, okay, when you were a child. And if so, my deepest consult, you know, uh, condolences. Um, Spirit wanted to say consoling you. Like, it, they want to say we're consoling you. But it came out, I was trying to say condolences. They were trying to tell you that they are consoling you. Um, and it came into a strange word. But know that, okay, this card coming is saying that you're going to have a second chance at opening up your heart. And that is why you really have to get clear, right? You have to get clear about what you want and what you want to say, what you want to call in, who you want to share your future with, okay? The honoring part here is honoring that you were not any bit to blame, okay, for the other person, whether this was their passing, whether this was um, just a bad relationship, okay? You were not driving the chariot. You were not in charge of all of this. And it is about honoring that it took place when it did, Okay. It may not have created the kind of start that you would have wanted. Ace of Pentacles there. In fact, it may have created a lot of hardships on you, but it did serve a lesson. Okay. Yeah. For some of you, it was a lesson on how do I love myself when I feel like I'm completely alone? That's a hard lesson. Okay. So tell me about the wisdom here that you are looking for from your ancestors, right? What do I do next? Where do I move to next with the three of wands, right? What's my next step forward? How do I regain my balance, my composure? How do I, um, how do I heal my life? is what spirit is saying to me. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly what spirit's been waiting to hear. Spirit's like, are you ready to take from the water of life and fill your cup? Are you ready to get back into living? Because you haven't been. 
Okay, for whoever this resonates with, this part of it, you have not been living. Okay, you've been hiding. So tell me about, okay, the conch shell here. Yeah. Number one, Spirit says, you need to stop putting your heart into everything immediately. Okay, Queen of Swords with the Magician. Spirit is saying, until you get a clean, really, see the eagle up there? Until you can really see to the horizon and things are gliding at a good pace. Okay, don't buy into everything you hear. All right, tell me about the Lodge. Yeah, all right, because you tend to go blindly into things and that doesn't always work out so well. I feel like for some of you, it may be that you're worried, like, I don't want to miss out on an opportunity. But look, the lovers, you cannot miss out on what is meant for you. And what is meant for you is coming ahead. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at what's going on with you, what's going on with your person, what's going on between you. Okay, if you're not dealing with someone, this could be the energy of the lovers coming towards you. All right, so tell me what's going on with Virgo. Thank you. Virgo's person. And between them. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Virgo, eight of cups, <laughs> 10 of cups. You have to, this is very much what we talked about in the sacred circle, okay, today, where what my spirit guides showed, they showed me, because I was talking about how do we anchor gratitude into our heart, okay, because we, we need to anchor ourselves in gratitude in order to, you know, have those healthy boundaries and create our future, create what we want, right? And what Spirit showed me is they took me out into a field, right, with an eagle. They had me fly to this field with this eagle. And then we came to a, a stop and the blackbird that was being my guide in the session gave me a little, you know, a little flower digging tool and had me dig a little hole to plant a seed. I was expecting them to give me a seed. And then they were kind of laughed at me, right? And they're like, what you are planting, your future, what you are planting now is what you are feeling in your heart. So if you are angry, your future is going to make you angry or you're going to be angry, right? If you are sad, your future is going to be sad. If you are, you know, joyous, you're creating and planting joy. So spirit is saying is you have to, okay, whatever it is that you want out of love, plant it from that space, not from the past, okay? And then when you do, you keep going forward in this illumination of, right, what is love? Like this frog right here is not waiting for anyone, right? They're just moving ahead. The sea turtles, they don't wait for their eggs to hatch. They just know that when the eggs hatch, those turtles, you know, are going to come into the sea. Don't wait. There is no such thing as the moment of perfection. If you are waiting because everything needs to be perfect, you are missing the opportunities, okay? Now your person, <laughs> we've got, okay, which of fire in reverse with the two of fire in reverse. I feel like this person has just gotten out of a messy, entangled situation, okay? And they're going through a healing period themselves. All right? And so they're in a situation right now of more or less just kind of cleansing, smudging. What's between the two of you is, of course, the number 11. And it is balance. 
right? It is how do we find the place where everything is balanced and happy and joyous and curious and fun and light? That's when everything will come together. So let's go ahead and clarify a little deeper. Now you have the King of Cups, okay? Knight of Cups, okay? Whoever the King of Cups was has impacted every connection since, okay? Whether it's friendship or love, doesn't matter. It's how you now address love. So the Six of Cups here, right, with the Four of Cups, that's going to complete a cycle. You need to really heal and get out of the phase of waiting if you are going to have this second chance. Tell me about Ace of Cups here. Yeah, Ace of Swords. There is clarity. You know, as I'm speaking this, oh, head, sharp head, you know, okay, that you have no blame in that past situation. Okay, Seven of Wands, um, you were protected. Okay, you were protected from... The more serious things that could have happened here, right? But you were protected, the high priest. You were protected by the higher self in the 5D, okay? For some of you, I feel like um, if this was a father that passed, your father is still protecting you, okay? Guiding you, reading your Akashic records and and making sure that you are on the right path. You are never alone. This is on that two of wands where she's alone. You are never alone. Okay. Tell me about the wisdom to go. Okay. Seven of pentacles. Some of you are waiting on money. But okay. You need to come to a completion on that as well. Of the lack. Because that also comes from the heart. I'm waiting for the perfect time, the per perfect amount of money. Okay, how do you balance everything? Two of Pentacles. Just by doing it, just by balancing. Okay, if this is about money to move somewhere, okay, to take a chance to, you know, start some schooling or something, Spirit's like, you know how to move money. You know how to juggle money. You know how to make everything work. And... We're giving you the big scoop, okay? The universe is giving you the big scoop to take whatever love, money that you need out of the universe if you'll just accept it and believe, okay? So tell me about Queen of Swords and the Magician. Yeah, okay. The Chariot. Spirit is saying that only when we bring, right? that light and darkness together do we see what's been created and so it really takes the mystery and the knowledge okay coming together to see things but mystery and knowledge does not have to be in the heart <laughs> and so it's unwinding your emotions from all of that that needs to happen you may not see where you're going right now here with this two of wands, okay? But again, look at that. There is an electric connection coming here with the lovers. And for the lovers, right? Okay, again, there's the balance. Until you transform where you are deeply rooted in right now, in the shadow work, right? The future, the light does not show up. So talk to me about illumination here with the eight of cups, <laughs> the lovers. Okay. Know again, what is meant for you cannot be taken from you. What is meant for you will always be yours. The 10 of cups. 
Yeah. Okay, you are going to rise out of this. And you're going to make different choices. But again, you have to come at it from a less emotion-based energy. Okay, yeah. Because three of wands, you've got someone waiting. Look at that. But there's the darkness and there's the light, right? Like you're standing at night with the fire and the desire, but too fearful to get in the water. They're standing there in day, seeing the blessings on the horizon, waiting for something to show up so they can take a leap of faith off this rock. All right. So tell me about this person. Yeah, what they're going through right now is fate, okay? The wheel turning for them so that they can move forward. I do feel like they are getting out of a marriage, all right, four of wands, or whatever they're getting out of. Um, they've been very unhappy, okay, three of swords, and they want happiness. They want marriage. They want love. How do you guys find the balance here? <laughs> okay. High Priestess. I feel like you already have, okay, some sort of divine ancestor, masculine ancestor watching over you. But you need the feminine touch of La Luna, okay, the illumination, the High Priestess, the knowing without the emotional. Like, look, she's barely got a teeny tip of her toe in the water, right? She can know without going into all the bleh of the heart space, okay? And that's what you are working towards, okay? Knowing King of Swords here, the fear that someone is always going to be one step ahead of you, or that someone knows more than you, or that someone's going to cut you off, right? Your purpose has already been written. It has nothing to do with anybody else but you and your belief in you. When you get that, that's when you balance out. Now, some of you, okay, may be... Page of Pentacles here with the Five of Wands. You may think that the grass is always greener on the other side. But it's just that your lessons are different than somebody else's. Okay, some of you keep your surface. <coughs> hey. He's okay. It's just a mailman. It's just a delivery guy. Sorry, Oliver is very upset. Oliver, it's just a delivery. Oliver says, I'm sorry. But you may find yourself like going down the rabbit hole. Some of you may, you know, indulge yourself in areas that you shouldn't, whether it is spending too much time online, like watching what everybody else is doing instead of giving, getting out there and living your life. Um, but again, you do keep your circle very small because there's a lot of um, energy of not wanting to, again, not wanting to be seen. And I feel like you have to heal that. So let's see what the universe wants to add to this. Three of wands in reverse, okay? Neither of you going forward means that you do not meet this person when you're supposed to, okay? And you're just stagnating. Okay, nine of cups, you have to love yourself first, okay? Um, maybe that means, all right, singing in the shower. Maybe that means... Um, honoring the light that you are, but 
Maybe the first step at speaking your emotions is through the heart. You come here. It's okay. Come here. Up here. Come on. Right here. No. I'm going to have to edit. I'm going to have to edit. Yeah. Yeah. He's okay. Can you lay down? Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Sorry about that. Um, he was very frightened by that delivery person. He apparently didn't want to be seen either. But you're not loving yourself is not raising your level of hope, not letting you see the blessings and the angelic beings around you. Um, you can't rise like the phoenix until you rise up within yourself first. All right, and that's where you're having problems, self in reverse, okay? And again, bottom of this is the eight of pentacles. I really feel like what's a lot of this blocking you is this feeling of lack from something that was missing from your life, all right? So let's close it off with an oracle card. If you've enjoyed the reading, please make sure that you click on the like. When you like, share, comment, and subscribe, it helps get the message out to others as well as honoring the channel and spirit. Okay, Ascended Masters, create open communication. We started with hidden emotions and, you know, we're ending here in the light. You have to open this part of yourself up and openly, like, be vulnerable and take those chances to move yourself forward. All right. I hope this helped you, Virgo. I hope you have a beautiful week and I hope to see you next time. All right. Bye.